is the start of the new year, really. It's like we didn't we started we started off optimistic and we felt good and maybe last week we start to feel a little bit less good and we're like, is this year really different? But it's like this is the new year that we want. <laughs> like as far as energy goes, this blue moon, blood moon, in Leo, full moon, lunar eclipse, blah blah blah. This is like that energy of new year, new beginnings, transformation, positive direction, moving forward kind of energy that we've, we've been wanting, um, probably since 2016. <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, you know, all of these realizations that are going to come up are like going to be the realization that something needs to shift or change. And then if we will be rewarded if we decide to do that. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I mean, aside from releasing blocks and resentments and stuff like that, that's really important because if we carry those, we're not going to have an amazing 2018, whereas the other people who did do that are. So, you know, you get to decide what kind of person and year you want to be. So good for you. Um, I did want to mention that being grounded is going to be really, really important coming up in this month. I forget the ast astrological reason why, because I'm not an astrologist, but they say that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, I think that's about it. But ultimately, this could be a very, um, this could be the start of a very happy and positive and life-changing year for you. But it depends on if you want to embrace those energies or not. So, have a really awesome month. And I love you a shit ton. Bye. I forgot one thing. Um, that's kind of interesting maybe for some of you. I forgot to tell you that in this time of transformation, you could meet somebody that feels very familiar because they are from a past life, okay? Now, if that happens, what do you do? Do you go with the flow? Do you learn the same lessons or not? Um, that's gonna be your choice and that's gonna be a weird personal situation for you. But just know that something with astrology means that that is super, super likely for you today. And the reason why I bring it up, even though it seems like, eh, who gives a shit? Because that's how I feel about it. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be one of those people. So why do I care? But there's, okay, I'm, you know how I was talking about the tea and stuff? I'm all about synchronicity. I think that everything happens for a reason. And so that's why I bring it up. Because for me, this morning, I saw a post on Facebook about past life readings. Usually... I ignore those because I'm like, eh, who gives a fuck? I'm in this life, right? But um, all of a sudden, it occurred to me, you know, you can do, like, how do you even know if you have a past life, right? So I get all my pendulum and I look, sure enough, I have a past life. So I was like, okay, I'll just do like a past life spread. Like, what was the point? It made my life and my life mission like super clear to me. Um, and I'm not going to do this as a special like I did, like I'm doing with the Capricorn moon, because you know what, maybe some of you will pay me some money and then we'll be like, oh, this is your first incarnation and then I'll have to send you your money back and it's just a pain in the ass for everybody and it's disappointing all around. So fuck that, you can do your own. But um, what I wanted to tell you is so it's like, okay, what is your purpose, right? Like, what did you learn in your last life? And for me, it was law of attraction, which is hilarious because I personally get frustrated um, because I feel like in 2017, maybe it was a message that everybody needed to hear, but I am so fucking sick of talking about law of attraction. And it was like, well, okay, but that's what you mastered your last life. And so that's why you have to carry it forward in this life and tell people about it. So then it was like, okay, what kind of shit are you carrying with you from your last life? into this life. And for me, it was like, okay, when things get sad, how can you go within and really try to see the bright side of that and like overcome hardship and, you know, move on towards like better things. And like, how can you still show love after so much like hurt and betrayal? And, you know, that might not make a lot of sense to you, like my personal anecdote, but it does to me. Like, um, my life has been really, really hard. I grew up, um, you know, like my dad killed himself when I was a kid in front of my mother. Um, so my mother was not really functional. Um, it was just my sister and me. We didn't have uh, family close by. 
everybody was like, you know, closest six hour drive away. Then moving on from that, you know, I grow up, I get married, this guy's super emotionally abusive, and I can't, like, I can't even function anymore because I am so stressed out. Like, I was getting physically ill, I was going to the doctor, they couldn't figure out a reason, and it was because of all the stress. So then I leave that relationship, get right back into a relationship with somebody for five years who is a narcissist. And as an empath, the empath narcissist relationship is so depleting. But you know, like all of this is happening and I'm really suffering and all of that suffering forces me to grow really close to spirit. And I mean, there's a lot of shit in between there that suck too, but these are like the major events um, that are showing up in my in my reading. And so, um, anyhow, everything happens for a reason, right? And had all this shit not happened, and you know, like my mom died last month, and now me and my sister here are like trying to figure shit out legally, and it's just us two, and we're like, what the fuck? Um, it's like, all this shit happens for a reason, and you get to decide, do I want to wallow in it? And just like, because statistically, based on like the series of life things that happen in my life, I should be very um, trailer trash on meth, probably. Because, you know, people who grew up with me in less shitty environments have way worse lives like that now. You know, so it's like, it's, it's actually a conscious decision. And so the reason why I'm telling you that is because I think that there's a reason why somebody needs to know that something from past life is coming and I would encourage you if you do read tarot um, to do a past life spread on yourself. Okay, that's it. Love and light.